Hey kiddos, it's Riley here, and today I have a very special video for you. This is kind of a piggyback off of the video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago about being in a regression rut. If you did not know, I am a Wiccan, I am a practicing witch, and sometimes my regression makes its way into my craft, and sometimes my craft makes its way into my regression, and this video is going to encompass both. This is actually a very special video because I filmed it while I was in Ritual. I didn't do it once and then film it a second time. This is actual video footage of something that I did while I was in the Circle cast and it's very special to me. If you haven't already seen the title, I am going to be showing you today how to make a regression aid spell jar. This is for you if you have been struggling to regress, if you haven't been regressing as much as you would like or as much as you need. Obviously that's something that I have been going through myself, so I thought it would be nice if I wrote up a little spell and cast a spell to hopefully regress more. This is a very special video for me, like I said, and my witchcraft and my spells are usually something that are very personal to me, so I don't share a lot of the details of what I do usually, but I felt compelled to share this because I feel like a lot of you will benefit from it. So without further ado, let's skip to voiceover Riley. Alrighty, I just recorded this. We're gonna see if it works again. Hi guys, it's voiceover Riley, and right now I am just lighting my altar candles. You can do this if you have an altar, but you do not have to have an altar for this spell. It depends on your personal preference, obviously, so if you are not a witch or you are not Wiccan and you do not have an altar, that is 100% totally okay. You can still participate in this spell, don't worry. In a minute here, I am going to get into the ingredients that you will need for the spell, and you can substitute these out as you see fit. These are just the ones that I chose to use. So the first ingredient that I am using is chamomile to help provide calming emotions in your regression, and then I am using rose petals as well to help support and provide innocence in your regression. Now for crystals, I am going to use clear quartz to provide clarity, and I am also going to be using a citrine crystal for happiness to make your regression happy. And I'm also including baby powder because baby powder just makes me feel small in general. Then you will need some candles, starting out with a white candle that you are going to light as your main candle, and then whatever color candles of what colors make you feel small, whichever colors aid your regression, and it'll be good. I'm using a funnel here, but it is totally optional. You don't have to do it. It just might make it easier to add some things, but you will need a small jar for this project as well. Incense is also optional, but I am choosing to use baby powder incense to set the mood and you will also need a cleansing tool of your choice. What I am doing here is I am taking my sandalwood stick and I am cleansing all of the supplies that I am using in this spell. Then I lit my incense and started to get all of my supplies ready on my altar, so that includes setting up my jar so it stays standing as I start to add the ingredients. Now I am starting with herbs and I'm including baby powder in the herbs in this spell. And then after I add all of the herbs, I'm going to be adding all of the crystals into the jar. So take your time, start with your herbs and then move on to your crystals. It's okay if this takes some time and it doesn't have to be perfect because honestly, whose regression is perfect? I don't think anybody's regression is strictly perfect. So it's totally fine if you mess up or if you don't do it 100% the way I'm saying, that's fine. Then you're going to want to seal your jar, pop that cork right into that jar and get ready for the next step. You're going to want to light your white candle because that is going to be the main candle that you use here and you are going to use that white candle to light your other colored candles and then you're going to drip the colored candle wax onto the jar on the top of it to seal it. Make sure the wax drips down the jar a little bit because it kind of makes it cute and aesthetic and it looks really nice, but I am just using primary colors because primary colors make me feel the most small. You can choose whatever colors are good and perfect for your own regression.
It might take a little while to get all of the drops on the way you want them, but that's totally okay. Take as much time as you need for this spell. And then after that, you're basically done. Just let it cool off for a little bit. Meditate while the white candle burns all the way down on your intention and you're good to go. I also forgot to mention, this is a really big part, mainly because I just recorded this and I had to re-record it, but you are going to want to repeat, regression comes easily to me, this is my will, so mote it be, as you do this over and over and over. So just make sure you repeat that as you're adding your ingredients and doing this spell and you should be golden. All right, back to regular Riley, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Even if you're not a witch, you can do this spell. If you feel like it'll help you and you truly believe in it, it will. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos based upon age regression from me. I also have a vlog channel and a main channel where I post other witchy videos and some other content regularly, so if you want to subscribe to those as well, you can click the links that are down in the description below. If you want to keep up with my day-to-day -day regression life, you can follow me on Instagram at crayons and pencils. And that's it. I love you guys a whole lot and I will see you soon. Goodbye.